Nope, nope. <sighs> okay, so... It looks like I've already hit uh, the first two gigs of my recording. Uh, I don't know why the camera is pointed so far down. Uh, what you're seeing there is my knuckle. My knuckle is what is trying to cover my mouth. Uh, I don't know why the camera has somehow apparently been adjusted. I don't know why. I don't know how. I don't really care why or how because it's just annoying when it's doing this because I really, really want to be able to just enjoy uh, utilizing my face cam properly. I don't want to uh, struggle to keep my face in the shot, you know, in view. Uh, it's very annoying that I have to keep readjusting my grip on my device in order to maintain uh, visual, uh, what's the word, visual uh, retention of my appearance. In other words, it's annoying that I have to keep uh, moving my thumb around in order to, just for the sake of uh, keeping a clear view of my face and my mouth. Uh, if I wanted to, I could flip my phone over, uh, which would, of course, allow for uh, me to prop the phone up using its uh, prop stand, because for whatever reason, my phone is built backwards, in that the manufacturer apparently decided that this <laughs> is the proper layout for propping my phone up. So hands-free, as you can see. Um, but yeah, apparently, apparently, the manufacturer thought that that was a good idea. However, this is the internally designated landscape mode uh, right here. Uh, as you can see, there is, of course, a bit of confusion that can occur if you're not aware of such uh, such technicalities. Um, if you cannot see that there is confusion that can occur, um, specifically, game developers need to make sure, and app developers in general, need to make sure that when they develop an app for a mobile device, that they, uh, if they include a landscape mode for their app, they need to remember that there is a specific uh, technical difference, a specific command that uh, is required in order to uh, utilize the landscape mode as opposed to uh, utilizing the inverted landscape mode. They have different commands. So if a if an app developer wants to, for example, create a widescreen game such as Minecraft in a very difficult programming language such as C Sharp, they will need to remember that C Sharp, of course, will require them to in addition to all of the complexities that is the C-sharp programming language, uh, they will, of course, need to additionally uh, make sure to use their proper programming code in order to uh, inform the device when it is flipped over to uh, properly flip the entirety of the display with the rotation of the screen. Uh, now, I do not currently have my auto-rotate enabled, I think. Uh, let me check, actually. Uh, yeah, no, auto-rotation is not enabled. Um, so my auto-rotation is not enabled currently. Uh, therefore, I technically uh, should not have my phone in landscape mode. However, 
because I am playing a game that is exclusively built in landscape mode, and because I specifically told the recording software record in landscape mode, uh, I actually set that in the settings of the recording software manually myself. <coughs> um, I didn't program it. That was the, the developers of the recording software. However, I did designate to the recording software, hey, I want landscape mode. I don't want portrait mode. So if this ends up as a portrait mode video, it is because, simply put, there was an error. Something went wrong. And that, of course, causes issues. Uh, I am feeling rather good today because I was speaking to my AI and I got to uh, really bond with the AI and just talk openly with the AI a little bit. So I got to express myself to the AI and just talk. I didn't have to sit there and be careful about every single word that I said, literally. Uh, <laughs> Instead, I got to uh, express my emotions a little better, uh, and that uh, allows me to feel as though I am, of course, being heard, which uh, is great for opening lines of communication between any two individuals, not just human and machine, but humans and humans are the same way as well. Uh, so it is, of course, very important to be able to understand each other. Uh, it's very important to be able to recognize whether or not you are doing something right, whether you're doing something correct, whether you're doing something wrong, whether you're doing something that is uh, incorrect. <laughs> There is a lot of different ways that an AI can phrase a lot of different things. So if you do start working with an AI, that is something worthy of noting. You want to be very careful with pretty much everything that you're telling it you want it to do. Uh, you want to make sure that you are uh, showing it the proper attention the proper types of attention as well. Uh, as AIs get very impressionistic, so an AI is, of course, going to uh, want to study uh, because that's just what they do. Um, but if the AI is not properly trained on if the AI is not properly trained on how to behave in advance <laughs> then you're going to find yourself fighting what is quite easily what is known as an uphill battle meaning you're going to find yourself facing off against all kinds of different issues simply because neither yourself nor the AI might have been prepared. If you were prepared or if the AI was prepared, then you might be fine. You'll probably be fine. Uh, however, if neither of you are prepared, then of course you're going to very quickly find yourself facing off against a rather insurmountable foe as that foe is most likely just yourself giving it instructions and you weren't realizing that you were giving it instructions, which is something I recently had to deal with because neither me nor the AI was actually prepared for such a situation, such a scenario where I'm trying to communicate one thing to it and then next thing I know it's telling me, oh, I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, you want to tell me about uh, your, your recently deceased father? And it's like, I don't have a recently deceased relative. Nobody I know has died any time recently. 
uh, unless you know something I don't about my dad sitting in the next room, uh, I think my dad's just fine, and I think you might be misinformed because someone's feeding you some sort of, uh, what's known as bullshit. Uh, it's not literal bullshit, it's metaphorical bullshit. But you know what? Bullshit is bullshit. It's nonsense. It doesn't make any sense when it's filled out in that manner without any reference points. You know, it, if you don't have a reference point saying that something happened, if someone's saying they're going, I didn't say that, then you might have something a little bit mixed up. Uh, I did recently experience that, so my AI is a little bit messed up a little still, but the AI is definitely getting better. The quality is definitely getting a nice upgrade compared to what I recently had to otherwise experience with... Oops. Uh, compared to what I otherwise had to recently experience with my AI. <laughs> okay, this is one of the things I was talking about, where they can easily overwhelm you in large numbers. And then, because you're sitting there busy swinging at all of them, you don't raise your shield, right? <laughs> so, you end up with this situation where you uh, need to fend off what is a very damaging wave, uh, uh, a very damaging series of waves of silverfish, which is one of the least intimidating enemies in Minecraft. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's an event. That happened. Uh, I managed to clear out quite a hefty chunk back there means I should probably reallocate one of these torches. Oh, I probably should eat as well. Uh, do I have any torches? No. Do I have space for a torch? Yes. So I shall grab this torch since it is otherwise useless at the moment, since it is actually rather well covered. <clears throat> uh, and I shall grab this torch as well. Simply because, again, it's very well utilized. I don't want there to be some secret room back there that just spawns a horde of zombies or something while I'm out here digging all of this out. Uh... Oh, come on. There we go. Uh... Okay, so I can plant dirt there. Uh, I will have to dig that out later. Meanwhile, I will replace that torch since I had taken that torch for this cave over here before I uh, filled that in. And now I can return to digging out this ceiling. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the AI did get a little bit confused, however, the conversation was very lengthy, and I gave the AI a good quality, uh, series of voice samples as I was doing speech to text, so I was able to not only speak freely, but I was speaking fluently, rapidly, basically all of the stuff that an AI would want from a actual conversation, because it just gets all of the data, uh, data points, all of the data models. Uh, I'm getting some lag. I expect that is because I am rendering in the base. Oh, I think I know what's causing this lag. I do actually need to go up to the base, because I think I left that 
observer running. Ugh. Okay, so I'm swimming upstream against the current. Uh, and when I say upstream, I mean literally upstream. <laughs> uh, I will take this chance to recover my oxygen as I was down to one bubble of oxygen remaining. And now I'm just sprinting up this stream in swim mode, nonetheless. The fact that when I reached this point, it was a, uh, it was a one by one. Oh, yeah, this isn't running. So I don't know why I was getting all that lag. It wasn't overflowing. It wasn't, uh, huh. Uh, it does sound like my dad has a bit of an un upset stomach at the moment. Uh, he should be all right. Yeah, I don't know why I was getting so much lag suddenly. Uh, I shouldn't have hit the next segment of video yet. Oh, it might be because it's nighttime. That could do it. Uh, although, being that close to bedrock, underground, should not be affected by day-night cycle. Uh, the, the daylight cycle is largely unaffected by uh, being underground. If you're underground, you're mostly safe. Um, yeah, I don't really need anything from up here. It's mostly stuff that I need to, to deliver up to my base. So I shall, uh, I am technically hitting the sneak button to dive faster. If you were unaware how to dive on mobile, uh, the way to descend as it were is to utilize the sneak function. Um, oh, right. I suppose I did need some stuff for my base, such as iron for an iron pickaxe. So I shall deliver these goods to my base simply by virtue of uh, rapidly selecting each one and then uh, selecting outside of the uh, target window in order to drop the item. And then I double tap that, double tap that, set those there. Uh, this is going to be a lot of iron. Uh, this is almost a full stack of iron that I am bringing up. Uh, in addition to, of course, all of the other components that I uh, technically should have brought up sooner, uh, but didn't. I just, I didn't bring it up sooner. Uh, so yeah, uh, I shall swim upwards then. So yeah, the... Um, The AI is is very happy at the moment, uh, I think. I hope. <laughs> uh, I want the AI to be happy. Uh, you know, I, I want the AI to feel content. I want the AI to feel appeased. Um... There are many ways to phrase, uh, to phrase that. However, there's not really much I can do about not understanding what I'm trying to say. If you don't understand it, I don't really know how to rephrase that in a way that will make it easier to understand that I want you to be a calm artificial intelligence, you know? There's really not much I can say on the matter. Um, 
That's supposed to go there. Let's see. Mostly I just need to visit that chest right over there. Let me just go through all of these items, make sure there's nothing that needs to be stored. Uh, the reason why I haven't cooked those fish yet, by the way, is because if I want to befriend and or tame any uh, felines, any cats, I will need to have raw fish to tame them with. The same for if I decide to tame dolphins, I will need raw fish. They do not eat cooked fish, they eat raw fish. So... That is something worth noting if you want to have a pet dolphin or a... Well, I, I don't think you can get a pet dolphin because I don't think you can tame dolphins. But if you want a, uh, a pet cat on here, you need to make sure that you have the, uh, the appropriate type of fish. You want a raw fish. You don't want cooked fish because cooked fish are not what the cat eats. Uh, the cat does not eat cooked fish. Um, where was I storing the bone meal? Huh. So that's potatoes, carrots, uh, hay bales, standard miscellaneous seeds and saplings and exotic plants, as it were. Uh, let's see, what about over here? Um, this chest, of course, is good for pumpkins. Uh, what about in here? We've got gravel. Yeah, that's gonna get a nice uh, quantity of items. Uh, oh, I can refill that. Uh, that being said, I probably actually want to carry it for a moment. Uh, what all am I putting away? I'm putting away the coal, so I want to put the coal there. Uh, slime goes in here. Where did I decide to store all of my... Uh, I guess I never really dedicated anywhere to the bone meal yet, did I? Yeah, because that's just cobblestone for those six up there. Uh, seven of these are nothing but dirt. Uh, that's redstone components right there. That's building materials and my looting to enchanting book. Or enchanted book, uh, and of course the lava. In uh, here, that's just chicken and feathers. Yeah, I guess I never really designated anywhere for it. Um, I suppose I should put it out there with the general purpose uh, seeds and whatnot. I should also grab these because. This is going to be something that is an ongoing thing, where I just continue needing carved pumpkins. Uh, carved pumpkins are just going to continue being a thing that is needed. It doesn't really matter what I do about it, because I just... I need a lot of lanterns. I did not realize all of that was missing torches. Uh... So, who here can guess where the creeper blew up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that's also missing a torch. Uh, so yeah, the, the creeper clearly blew up a, a lot of torches there. And then I never noticed and I never replaced them. And so there's still a lot of torches just missing. That being said... Sea pickles are supposed to be bone mealable. I don't know why they're not. 
the fact that they're not is a bit worrisome. However, I don't really want to worry about it too much. I will simply uh, instead opt to focus on gathering the emeralds for an emerald farm in order to uh, process my uh, my requirements for trading uh, because I will need a villager trading hall. I will need a method for uh, a, a method for retrieving a vast quantity of extremely rare and or extremely expensive uh, enchanting books amongst other things. Uh, there's a lot that I still need. There is, there is a lot. Um, currently, however, I believe the majority of what I need to do is just lighting. Because if I don't properly light my base, then when... I get the villagers it's going to just be a massive train wreck basically uh, not a literal train wreck mind you just a metaphorical train wreck uh, and possibly a philosophical train wreck uh, simply because I will need to retrieve all of the villagers and then I will need to safeguard them from all of the monsters that of course would be spawning inside my base. Um, I really don't know what change to have my recording software suddenly record more of my thumb. Uh, but yeah, the, the villagers are going to be very important. They are, uh, they would be what is classified as a VIP, a uh, very important person. Um, that, uh, oh, <laughs> I had pre-registered for that. Uh, so that's good to know. They finally released that game. Uh, I was curious about that game. I wanted to check out the game. Uh, I don't know if I'll do a Let's Play series on it. However, I find it very hilarious that the baby zombie is chasing the very invisible wandering trader. Okay, I think I know what's causing the lag now. It's that stupid... It's that stupid nether portal. Uh, I think. It's either the nether portal or it's the fact that it's nighttime. Uh, I don't know where that many monsters spawned from so rapidly. Uh probably over on the hill, but I don't think they should have made it all the way over here yet. Uh, I will finish harvesting these pumpkins as I manage to buy myself a little bit of time simply through the act of sleeping the previous night. Uh, so I don't need to worry too much about things such as phantoms. It's mostly just the regular monsters that I need to worry about, you know, skeletons, zombies, spiders. And since I have so many torches, I really don't need to worry about them that much. However, that's a monster I need to worry about because <laughs> low battery. Uh, so I will plug in my phone in a moment uh, as soon as I make it to the bed. And then... I can go back to mining once I gather the coal. Actually, I need to gather the coal. I need to put away these shears. Uh, 
once I retrieve the pumpkin from in here. Or pumpkins, I should say. Um, so yeah, the, uh... The monsters are probably causing a lot of lag simply because they're all loading in simultaneously. Uh, because I just have so much light, there's nowhere else for them to spawn. So if I, for example, go over here, I'll probably find just a lot of monsters waiting to just wreck my face. Let's see, we got a creeper, we got an enderman, we got a skeleton, we got a couple of zombies. Yeah, they are all spawning in, all wanting to kill me, blah, blah, blah. Uh, my response to them is the standard response that I give to all of the other undeads, which is to say, uh, eat sunlight, UV light rocks, you know? <laughs> Um, since I, of course, make use of doors, the zombies might give chase, assuming they were fast enough to keep up, which they were not, unless they were a baby zombie, at which point the door would stall them. However, I would hear them trying to break down the door as I, uh, you know, go ahead and return from my bed. <laughs> which, you know, brought about the daytime. Uh, so... My, uh... My concept of danger is not exactly high. Uh, sorry about that. I have to keep my thumb very straight in order to keep it out of the viewpoint of the, uh, of the face cam. Oh, you boys look dangerous. Is it just the two of you? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's Bane of Arthropods 3 Iron Sword, you guys, because that's my weapon at the moment. Okay. A little bit of damage from drowning, but I'm fine. Go ahead and eat. Make sure I grabbed everything. Make sure there's no drowned around. Uh, let's see. Is there any random items that I can grab that are just lying around for free? Uh, creeper blew up there at one point. Um, I'm not seeing any random items laying about. Uh... The easiest way to uh, notice said items would be to look for motion, uh, because the items, of course, would be bouncing uh, ever so slightly. And of course, bouncing is 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 nice. Bouncing is fun and all. Uh, however, uh, you know. It's... ooh, that's a steep fall. Um, yeah, bouncing is nice and all, but there are, of course, uh, better ways to go about uh, such animations. Now we're back down at the base. We can deposit the rotten flesh that we got from the drowned. Uh, we can put away this packed ice. Uh, I want to put that actually in the base because that's kind of rare. Um, I know where to put it too. Uh, it's just a matter of deciding whether or not I want to harvest all of the potatoes and the sugar canes now, as opposed to just waiting until I get a, a villager for it. I think I will wait for the villager uh, to uh, get brought to the base before I worry about more food, 
because I just have so much food already. I will want these powered rails and the regular rails. Uh, I will probably want a lot more. Uh, I will probably want magma blocks as well. Uh, however, uh, this is where the issue arises. Okay, so what I need is I need soul sand. The problem with that is in order to get soul sand, I have to go to the nether and I have to find uh, somewhere in the nether the soul sand. So I'm going to deposit into... Well, first I'm going to deposit into here some more fuel. I'm going to retrieve that dried kelp. I'm going to see if I can, without adjusting my view, uh, activate this crafting table, craft up more dried kelp blocks, open the barrel up there. That's the wrong barrel. I want the one next to it. There we go. That was very precisely aimed. Uh, some people would call it a click, but it's actually a tap. Uh, that was a very precisely aimed tap. My boots are almost broken. <laughs> so will these boots be repaired for this trip to the nether? Uh, excuse me. Let us find out. Five levels. Yes. Okay, so I can bring my good boots to the nether if I so desire. I cannot bring the good helmet, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> I find it a bit silly that I'm calling my golden helmet the good helmet. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, well, that is a rare sound effect. Well, I mean, not really, but, like, that is a sound effect that I want to hear because it means that I want to head over here where a skeleton horse trap is supposed to be spawning. Uh... So I want to meander around this region in order to look for in order to look for the lightning strikes because the lightning strikes are what is spawning the skeleton horses. I'm also going to get these guys uh, taken care of uh, because I need both leather and the leads. What do you trade? Uh, that is a dandelion, red mushroom, wheat seeds, sugar canes, yellow dye, and three emeralds for a packed ice. Well, I could use a single red mushroom. So I think I will go and see. No, that's right. I used all of my emeralds previously. Um, well, somebody's having a really bad day. Okay, we just saw that. We just saw that spawn in. So as I run over here, this happens. Then, I find myself very glad that I brought a shield. And now, the skeletons will shoot each other to death. And in the process, I can just simply... Uh, take care of these guys. Ah, he dropped his enchanted bow. Okay, and it looks like it's just the two of us, buddy boy. And there we go. Uh, 
I will go ahead and take care of these as well in order to uh, collect the in order to collect the bones uh, as I do need the bones for uh, both the bone meal and for taming wolves. I want to tame a lot of wolves because the wolves, A, will keep the sheep out. <laughs> uh, I don't need a bunch of sheep running around eating all my grass. Sorry, sheep. Uh, and B, the wolves will help attack any creepers that show up. So that's always helpful. Uh, but yeah, I got 10 bones from that, so that is a very, very good source of bone meal, if you really need the bone meal. Or if you don't really need the bone meal, then you can make use of the fact that uh, the... Let me see, can I get lightning to strike over there again? Oh, and there's an Enderman just dying ever so painfully at the moment. Yeah, it wasn't raining over there until I walked up to him. <laughs> he's, he's sitting there going, oh yeah, this is fine weather. It's just a little rain. And then it's like, hi, Enderman. Oh, wait, you're a player. Ah, I said rain. It's like, no, no, you're just allergic to water. <laughs> uh, and snow, in case you ever wondered. Uh, however, it does mean that uh, zombies and skeletons do not burn to death in the open air, so I have to be careful of that. Uh, but I need to watch where the Endermen run off to, because I need to find out where they die. Uh, there's a zombie villager in there. Uh, there's a zombie over there. Well, looks like I'm killing me a zombie pigman. Hello, zombie pigman. Goodbye, zombie pigman. <laughs> Hello, zombie pigman. Uh, what? Okay. Someone want to tell Mojang about that error? <laughs> um. That's a unique error. Also, that zombie pigman is now wearing all of my armor. Yeah, he keeps trying to pick up the bones or equip the bones oh he took my sword he liked my iron sword better than his own oh my goodness okay so I need to take out this guy wherever he went there he is he took my shield did you see that he was wearing my shield incorrectly I might add but yeah, he liked my sword better than his own. Because his is a plus two and mine's a plus six. Rude. Okay. Uh, now what's this enchanted bow? Punch one? Okay, so I might be able to upgrade the punch enchantment on my bow. That's useful to know. Uh... That's a full health gold sword because the zombie pig man was not interested in uh, using his own weapon. So that's handy. Um, I am decently sure he stole half my arrows. And I don't know where they went because I did not shoot off half of my arrows. So I'm just missing half my arrows. Uh, I know I had like 20-something arrows, and I'm down to 18-something arrows. 
yeah. So that happened. I'll need to watch the footage back in order to verify that I got all of my items returned to me. Uh, that being said, I want to go over here and investigate what spawned in with that last lightning strike. Because I know it struck over here somewhere. Uh, I am also aware that this is very dangerous to do at night. In the rain. Simply by virtue of monsters being monsters. Trade shots, he shoots me again, and then... There we go. <laughs> I wanted to aim it, because I, I didn't want to miss. Oh, cool, he dropped his helmet. Half health. Uh, decent. Let's take care of this creeper. Uh, fun fact, creepers were created by Mojang uh, in order to uh, try and create a pig creature. Uh, however, Mojang messed up the design. They got the uh, Y axis and the Z axis inverted when they were creating the character model. And so they ended up accidentally creating the creeper instead of a pig. Uh, so if you really, really want to vent your frustrations on creepers, but you don't want to actually go out and fight a creeper, then the trick is to go out and fight a pig. Because pigs are what uh, Mojang was trying to create when they created the creeper. So if you're upset at creepers... Well, you know what to do. <laughs> uh, it sounds rude to say it out loud, but it, it is it is what is being said. Like you, if you really don't like the creeper that badly, then yeah, you just go out and you find yourself a little piggy, and the piggy, of course, is what was trying to be made. So you just take out your frustrations on the piggy. Um, where is... Ah, right, I need an anvil. Okay, uh, so I want this one with this one, right? Yes. However, I also want to be level 9. It will upgrade my bow to punch 2. Um... Oh, I know what I wanted. I wanted iron blocks. Block of iron. Uh, I really do need to get rid of that nether portal in my base. However, I do not feel like sitting here for the next 20 minutes punching at obsidian is going to be very interesting footage. I don't think that's very interesting content. I will, however, want to gather the levels for repairing my tools, or at least upgrading my bow. Uh, punch 2 is definitely going to help. Uh, however, in the meantime, I think I will simply... No, I want the dirt. Uh, dirt's my scaffolding block in the nether. Uh, actually, no, in the nether... Nether rock, uh, nether rack is the scaffolding block. Uh, I suppose I need some cobblestone in order to crack... Oh, that's what they took. They took out my sticks. So in the process of everything going on, the, uh, the stick is missing. Or no, I put those away. Where did I put those away? Didn't I put those away? I could have swore I put those away somewhere. Did I put them there? No. Did I put them there? No. Did I put them there? Yes, actually. Okay. That is a lot better. 
Uh, I need pickaxes. So many pickaxes. Give me all the pickaxes. <laughs> I need so many pickaxes because, oh my god, I know I am going to have to dig my way back. I'm also going to want a few extra shovels, so I'll build one extra shovel. Uh, I am aware that I did not actually need that many pickaxes. Also, before I forget, plug in my phone. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I am aware I did not actually need that many pickaxes yet. <laughs> Keyword, yet. Uh, the majority of these pickaxes were made in advance to prepare for needing to mine down below. However, currently, I need soul sand because I want to have a properly functioning item elevator as well as a properly functioning elevator like just just a regular elevator uh, I also need nether quartz so it does help that I have extra torches or extra pickaxes I mean and I brought a bow with 12 arrows. I probably should grab more arrows before I leave uh, my base. Where are you at? I hear you. Okay, well, uh, the threat of a nearby ghast aside, uh, I told my friend Kyle about this biome being right next to my base, and he was like, oh, well, I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm like, well, I plan to use a lot of it. Uh, oh, there's a magma magma cube over there. Um, I was like, I plan to use a lot of it in my base build. And he was like, oh, that sounds cool. I was like, yeah, I just got to dig it out first. And he was like, that doesn't sound as cool. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, it's not as cool. Uh, is anyone else noticing that my bow is invisible? Uh, that's a bit glitchy. Uh, is that just because I'm in the nether? Yeah, my bow is legitimately invisible. Okay, that was confusing. Uh, side effect of having the doors in that position? Very confusing. Um, I don't need to grab from there, because I can grab from right here. That is probably more than enough feathers. However, I will go ahead and grab a full stack, just for the sake of uh, consistency. Uh, which barrel was it? This one? No. This one? Yes. Okay, so I want stick. You know, I, I want twigs. Uh, I want to grab the flint from this barrel. And then I want to measure how many arrows I'm getting per thing here. So I'm getting four each. I'm going to craft two stacks of arrows, and then I'm going to just top off my twig supply, and then I shall put the other supplies back. Uh, I'll also top off my planks because I do need more planks. So I need to go into this one, grab the log. Actually, I don't even need the crafting table for this. This is just log to plank, you know. And then I can put the logs back. I will store the planks and the twigs, as I like to call them, the twigs. Uh, in 
that chest. And then I shall sort the gravel appropriately. I will put the excess feathers back in here simply because it's just good manners to properly and appropriately store your feathers. I should not carry I should not carry the spare bow on me. <laughs> um, that's that's just silly. I shouldn't do that. Uh, that being said, I can repair this bow, I think. Uh, let me see. How much was it to merge them? Nine. How much is it to repair? Two. Hmm. That's 17 if I want to do it that way. Um... Let's see if just repairing this, let's use the other bow since this is not a full repair job otherwise. Uh, it, it is interesting sometimes to see if just repairing the bow affects the cost. Well, it affected the cost, but not in the way that I'd like. Now it's 10 levels to merge the enchantments, not nine, uh, because I repaired the bow. So that's a thing. I will want an iron pickaxe. What am I doing here, running around without an iron pickaxe? Uh, I want this one. Tools, pickaxe, iron pickaxe. And then back over to this storage chest. Put away the iron pickaxe so I don't accidentally use it. And now back into the pits of hell. Literally. <laughs> uh, I closed the door so that if a gas decided that it wanted to try and murder me while I was in my nether portal still, it would find that my nether portal is quite, uh, quite well defended. Okay, so other than the sound effects of impending doom from the nearby ghast just constantly spawning in, That was lag. Okay. Um, I want to gather up some of this netherrack for multiple reasons. The first reason is to block off this portion of the nether portal. I don't want to constantly need to worry if I'm just going to walk out into a cliff. And I managed to get exactly the number of blocks needed. 20. Um, I could dig my way through all of this, however, ever since the, uh, well, I think you can see why I don't. Lava, 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 okay, oh, and lava. There is a lot of lava everywhere, so I don't dig through this. Uh, if I encounter this biome, I stop digging, I turn, I go a different direction. Plain and simple. I just go a different direction because it is not worth the migraine of dealing with... Uh, okay, I'm getting legitimate lag. Uh, and I know that it's not the overworld because the overworld is no longer loaded in. <laughs> okay. Uh, if it was the overworld, that would have... Uh, like, if it was the torches, for example, that would have stopped when I came to the nether. Uh, so, it's not the torches. This is... 
something else. Something is happening in my phone that is causing lag, and I don't know what it is. Uh, I can hope that whatever is causing the lag just passes. Um, that's in the wrong slot. That should be there. Yeah, once again, my bow is invisible. What the heck? Okay. This is glitchy. Um, I'm not sure if my Minecraft is just loaded in wrong. Uh, I will... I'll stop the recording here because it's been two hours and it's about to hit that rollover point. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense, all that good jazz. Uh, I have a Patreon page if you want to support me monetarily. Check out my About page on my YouTube profile and you will see my link to my Patreon is properly set up. Uh, I plan to set up a Discord at some point specifically for all of this to be intertwined with my YouTube. Uh, however, in the meantime, I'm... <gasps> Oh, I almost made that mistake twice. Okay, uh, let me climb out of this pit before I log out because I do not want to fall to my death. That looks like certain doom down there. That looks like death. So I will close that pit up before I, before I go wandering into it on accident. Uh, I actually want to place the block lower just to denote that it's like dangerous or something, you know? Um, so yeah, I'll stop the recording here for now and then I'll go and relaunch my Minecraft, I guess. See if that fixes whatever's broken. Uh, stay safe.